Welcome to the channel or welcome back today. We're back on Transylvania. And we are going to be doing a little bit of a different style of hunt. We're going to be going after some European hares. And that's going to be our main focus. So if you like this kind of content, you like the way of the hunter, the hunter call of the wild, hunter simulation, shooter games. Be sure to sub and ring the bell, share the video with a friend, give me a thumbs up, all the goodies, because it always helps me and the channel grow. And without further ado, let's go rabbit hunt. Well, all right, we're starting out where we left off from the last Transylvania video. You saw me when I was doing the outro. I kind of chased around a rabbit for a half second. And there's one right there. Actually, there's a couple right there. One star mature and a female. Actually, there's a, quite a few. And we're using the 12 gauge shotgun. So we can, oh, take out at least two. And see where these guys went. See if they kind of happen to run by again. You never know with these rabbits. Yep, there it is. Oh boy. Dang, they're quick. Oh, really bad shots. Really bad shots there. We're using the new Remington 12 gauge shotgun. Mainly for this reason of when we see them, I want to try and take out at least more than one. And hopefully get something good. This guy we shot right over his head. Or her head. This one was a female. And it was an adult female. They give you $17. That's not bad. As you see right there, we're also doing this for partly because of a mission. And this should be our one star. Oh, oh, two star adult. I thought this was our one star mature. The two star adult, only 67.72% genetic potential. It's not a bad one to take. And it'd be really cool if we could just kind of keep going and bump into those other rabbits again. I'm not sure how. Oh, there's one. Speak of the devil. All right, this might actually be quite a bit of fun. If we can stay in an area where we know they're at. This will be a lot of fun. A female mature. This is 31. Not bad. Not bad credits for them. So maybe they just kind of stay around. I don't know how many is in an area. This is one of their feed areas. So that's why I wanted to start out here. We found it. In the last uh, Transylvania video, or I found it technically after the video, but yeah, I was like, well, let's go back there to start because they feed for such a long time anyways and see what we can find. And just like that, we have four down or three, one, two, three, three. I wasn't actually counting anything, but yeah, we have three down. Hopefully we'll get some more. Obviously, we're in the grasslands, so we can see roe deer, fallow deer, red deer, lots of different stuff. So we have the 30 out six as well, just in case we see any other, anything else. But we'll just keep running around and hopefully bump into some more rabbits. We found a new feed zone. This one says they're here often for rabbits. And hopefully we'll get them to come in. I gave a call. We talked about in the last video, I'm really working on my calls so that here soon I'll have level three unlocked. It means I can call on high fitness males for deer species and stuff like that. Just in case we get a bow here soon. Oh, there's the rabbit. There's a rabbit. There's a rabbit. There's a rabbit. Wow, how'd that miss? Excuse me. I'm so confused that that missed. That was so strange. I held low because it's like got like a 58 yard zero and you can't change that. Oh, that that sucked. Oop, there goes rabbits. How are none of those hitting? Maybe we did hit. That blood? Wow. They mean I have to track this small little thing? Here it goes. It's 
going up that way. I wonder, I'm trying to see if they'll come back. Like just kind of run at me. That'd make this a lot easier. There's a rabbit. Got two. Let's see if we can't get... Oh, jeez. They're so fast. Oh, I think we can get these guys. If, if I can reload quick enough. Nope. Taking off. Taking off. Maybe that one? Nope. Taking off. Taking off. Slowed down. Lost in those reeds. Got it. Smoked it. Oh, he is still alive. Oh! Oh! Oh, that was nasty. That was a good track for tracking shot right there. These are the same rabbits from earlier. So this was a female. An adult. So her. This one. What was this one? Hey, look. This is a male. What do we get? A one star mature. Okay, well, that was a good one to take anyways. And that's 21 coin. Of course, we have one more to keep our eye out for. And walking up here to gra grab this one. Who knows? There it is. Got it. Bad shot to start, but we got it. This one was a male as well. This one we shot twice. The second shot was good, so this was the one that must have got a bad shot at from the start. One star adult, 57% genetic potential. Another decent one to take, and this one is another female. Three shots on this one. Just getting it with a pellet. One pellet in the rear, one pellet in the rear, and then a decent shot from there. But you see how they're hitting high? That's where I aimed low on that first one. But we hit way too low, so another female. One star adult. I think we wiped out this uh, entire population of European hares that were here. We're going to have to move on and try to find another spot. That's good to know that they kind of just hang out around, it looks like. And they don't run off. Here we go. Got a couple more rabbits coming in. And I went and I changed something up. So we have the red dot now on our 12 gauge. I want to see if it makes me a little bit better, a little bit more accurate. Uh, excuse me? I'm not sure what just happened there. Um, I feel like if you put a red dot on a shotgun, it makes it have a choke. So it has a tighter spread. That's what I've noticed. And it definitely drops your zero a lot, like a lot, a lot, which in turn makes it really hard to shoot rabbits, apparently. Apparently I should have held really high and well, we just lost that opportunity at these rabbits. Well, I see them. Let's see where they go. Maybe they turn back around and come to us. Hold on. Yep. There we go. Got one. Okay. We got one with the red dot. I like the sight picture of the red dot, but man, it sure is hard to get these rabbits. Let's see what this one was. This was a male. One star mature. Ah, that's a good one to take out. 49.12%. Oh, hey there, little guy. Daggum, they're quick. They are so quick. He ran right at me. I was trying to find him again. And, well, he found me and ran right past me. So now the question is, can we find him again? couple of them I'm hoping that they come this way it looks like they are coming right to me made that easy let's see if we can't I think we missed that what well, was this one another male right in the face 69.58 percent one star adult actually we didn't get him right in the face but man we peppered him 
That was a good shot there. Good shot there. I know they were up over here. Let's see if we can't get a couple more. It's kind of fun. I mean, having to chase them down like this kind of sucks. But they are fun to, fun to shoot. I wish the shotgun had a little bit wider spread. It's got such a tight spread. It makes it really hard. All right, we found some more rabbits. So again, gonna hit him with a call. Try to get him coming. This time I'm gonna let him get a little bit closer. Probably a lot a bit closer. Because I don't want to mess it up. <laughs> There's one there. And another one, another one star dolt with them. And it seems like just that female's coming. Oh, here comes one too. Well, this is going to be our victim here. We got quite a few coming in. Oh my gosh. My shooting is on point. I just dropped three. Like, what the heck? What was that? We haven't been able to do that all day. And this was a male. And it was 39.81% mature one star. All right. Oh, what a good one to take out. Very good one to take out. Let's see what this other one is and keep our eye out. The other one might come running. This is the female, a mature female. Good one to take there. And this was the one star adult. Let's see what his rating was. 52.3%. And for grins, I'm going to take a quick look and see if I don't see that one running around any. Yep, there it goes. I just saw it going this way. I'm not going to go nuts and chasing after it, but we'll see if he turns around and comes back. Well, I don't think that one's going to be coming back or I'm just missing it as it runs by because they are quite small. So we're just going to leave it there. And after such good shooting on that, I'm not sure I'm going to replicate that again tonight. So we're going to call it a night there. And I'm going to jump over to the lodge because some of you might not might have noticed at the last spot we were at. I think it was the last spot we were at. I taxidermy two instead of selling them. And I did that because, well, they're rabbits. You're not going to see much of a difference other than size. And there's a, a little bit of a mount that I like. And I want to put it up anyways, even though they're two one stars. I think it'll be pretty cool. So I'll meet you guys at the lodge. And there we go. It's the European hair. Two of them. Boxing. I just think it's a cool mount. Um... Uh, not my favorite place for it. I wish we could have done it like on the coffee table. I think it'd be a really cool mount to have on the coffee table. But this is cool nonetheless. I'll take it. I think it's just kind of a neat, neat mount. And kind of cool. And like I said, they're just, they're rabbits. So they don't have any antlers, really anything other than size to show that there would be a five star or not. Since it doesn't like display their rating, no one, no one will ever know. I mean... No one knows what any of these score, except for looking at these. They're like, wow, those are big, big antlered or big horned or big tusked animals. So when they're just fur bearers, I think I'm just going to start taking some and putting them in the trophy lodge. Even if they're not five stars, we can start filling up this lodge a little bit more with other animals, especially the fur bearers. But all that said, guys, if you stuck it out to the end, as always, I super appreciate you just watching all the way through. It's cool that you guys enjoy them so much that you'll stick it out all the way to the end. If you're new to the channel or you've been here for a while and you just haven't quite yet hit the button, please consider hitting the subscribe button, the bell notification button, the like button, and the share button. All that helps me greatly and helps the channel grow. And of course, last but not least, go enjoy a good hunt with a good friend. I'll catch you in the next one.